Hello there. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel, Snips by Kelly. I'm Kelly, and tonight I have a simple but fun two-page layout that completes our Summer Gnome series. Yes, you heard it right. It completes our five-part Summer Gnome series. So this will be the fifth and final layout in the Summer Gnome series that seemed like it took forever. Do you ever have anything that should take about three weeks and it ends up taking about three months? <laughs> they were fun and it was great, but everything delayed this series. So I'm so happy to have it complete and you can be on the lookout within the next couple weeks for a cheat sheet up on the website to be able to cut this whole series at once if you've been following along and waiting on the edge of your seat. So I'm going to use this final layout for some beat photos and this is a little respite trip that my girlfriend Amy and I took in September and we had every morning and every night we took a walk on the beach. So I love the Chase the Sunset sticker. There's not much left. This is going to be basic strips. And you can take a look at the first layout in the series that I've linked in the description that tells all about how I made the bits for the entire five-part series and the ingredients that I used. But the primary ingredient is the Summer Gnome Scrapbooking Workshop Kit. And we don't have much. Much left. We have a few stickers. We have um, a, a, just a very little uh, pattern paper. So I'm just going to put some uneven strips of different lengths and or uh, different widths, excuse me, in um, in varying lengths apart to fill the top part of the page and make the most of the very little bit that's left. Now, I was planning on using the ice cream strip because. I thought maybe this would be a grandkid layout because I've really done a lot of grandchildren layouts and lake layouts with this series because it's playful, it's fun, it has the little gnomes. But I thought, you know, I think I want to do some big girl photos. So I did uh, decide to do the, the ocean photos or the beach photos of Amy and I in Amelia Island, Florida in September. And I decided to pull the ice cream strip back in and not overthink it. It's cute. It's so Summary. I'm not going to be overthinking that these are beach photos and that I don't want to use ice cream. Now we have the yellow gnome side that we could use as well, but I decided to just use the beach icon side. So Amy and I took walks every single morning and every single evening on the beach for the five days we were in Amelia Island. But now you can see that I've added a half inch zip strip, a half inch journey strip, a two and a quarter inch busy beach strip, a three quarter inch stripe strip, a one quarter inch journey strip, and another zip strip that's a, of course a half inch by 12. The um, striped photo mat is five and three quarters quarters by five and three quarters. I will be using a four by four, a vertical four by six, and four three by three photos, each of them matted with an eighth inch of white photo mat and then a quarter inch white uh, or quarter inch lagoon photo mat. Of course, these are close to my heart colors because this was close to my heart design, stampin' up, purchased, and sold. It was part of our bridge product. And I kind of love the idea of incorporating this fun summer title, maybe putting it across the bottom on the right, or maybe toggling it and making it step downward a little bit and taking one step down for every two letters and just having a little bit more interest because this is very basic, only basic strips left. It's going to be a very pattern oriented layout with not a lot of bells and whistles, but it's going to be super cute just because of the colors and the summery icons that are left. So I think I really, really love the step down. So I think I'm going to add the photos on a little bit of a step and then maybe even add some of the Summer Gnome icons from the Summer Gnome stamp and thin cut set. So I'm just finishing up the last little bit of my Close to My Heart as I do a new Stampin' Up! workshop, uh, a Simply Scrappin' or a Sparkle and Shine. I'm trying to go back and finish up the tail end of whatever is left that I really didn't want to let go from the closing of Close to My Heart. So you'll still see a few Close to My Heart 
start scrapbooking workshops to come. To be specific, I'll be doing Lake Life. I'll be doing um, Secret Garden and Daisy Daisy, which is an older one, just because I don't want those to be in the rearview mirror and forgotten. So many of my paper crafters have those supplies and we have until December of 2024 to, you know, to kind of wrap things up and to get things taken care of from the closure of Close to My Heart. And they're beautiful workshops, so I don't want to pass them by. So I'm looking to see. I have a couple titles left over on the Very Scarce sticker sheet. And one has watermelon. I do like the Paradise, but it doesn't quite go because of the big summer title over on the right. I really don't need anything super large over here on the left. And I'm super happy with Chase sunset or chase the sunset. You can see that it's sunset in our photos and that we're just, well, our Airbnb was on the beach. So it was just, you know, 45 seconds from the beach. We just walked across a little boardwalk and we were right there on the beach to take a walk every morning and every night. So you can see it's a little bit of overcast. There was a little bit of a storm front the week we were there, but it was still in the 80s. And for Midwest girls, that was beach weather to us. Probably not so much for the locals, but it really, really was for us. So I decided to land on the banners coming down below the focal photo, which is a photo of Amy and I. And I forgot my sunglasses, so I'm squinting. Even though it's overcast, it still was bright for my eyes. But I just love that the, the uh, ocean is behind us and that I thought about using the very last gnome. We have one gnome left. And then I thought, since this isn't of my grandkids and it's kind of just Amy and I at the beach, I think I'm okay with not using him. But he is there. We made him on the first video. And so if you're using this page for anything that's playful or fun or, you know, grandkids or kids or, you know, pool or whatever you might be using it for that the gnomes would fit with, you can tuck him in. He would go great on this page. I just used him on most of the pages in this series so so that we would get really good use out of him. And boy, did we ever. We really used a lot of those. But I do have the Gnomes for Summer Stamp and Thin Cut set that has some pineapples, some shells, some sun. It had some bi bi a bicycle that we used on a different uh, layout. It had a little sprinkler that we used on a different layout in this series, but I don't want to do a lot of intense coloring. This is a very simple and easy and quick to put together layout, so I want to do quick rubbing. I'm going to do some rubbing techniques to color those very fast, so I have a little honey butter, which is one of the colors that went with this series. So I have some honey butter that I'm going to color the bottom of the pineapples with. And then the pineapples in the um, pattern paper have journey for the tops, which is different. You would think that the pineapple tops would be green, but because they give them journey tops in the pattern paper, I'm going to follow suit and give them journey tops with a little bit of ink rubbing. I'm going to rub a little bit of glacier on the shells and then rub the bottom of the shells with a little bit of journey. Such a quick and easy way to add a splash of color to bits and pieces without spending a lot of time markering or watercoloring, you definitely could marker. You could definitely use tri-blends. You could definitely use Stampin' Write or you could use um, your Stampin' Blends. You could use markers. You could use watercolor. You could paint with your ink. Uh, but I just love doing this very fast, very, very fast and adding that splash of color. So I'm going to add some more honey butter, darker in spots and lighter in other spots onto the sun and you can see how fast and how easy this layout came together. I definitely want to do some journaling over to fill some of the white space over on the left page. And then I think I have three of the punch out journey glitter paper die cuts left and they are all gone. So we're going to use those up no matter what. We're just going to make those work and we're just going to add those to the page and be done with it. So again, for those 
those of you that have been waiting, thank you for your patience with this series. It just seems like there's always something else that's been coming up. I had a busy summer. I had some death in the family. I had so much. You know, we had annual camping trips. I had a 40th class reunion. And I'm so happy to finally be getting back to this so that my paper crafters can put it to rest and get uh, all 10 pages complete at once. So I will be posting all the details on how you can get the Summer Gnomes Cheat Sheet so that you can cut all your paper at once and make all your bits at once and do all your die cutting at once. And you can, or you can also just simply follow each of my five videos that goes with each of the five layouts. So I've just taken some little scraps that are left over. I've used the crisscross journey piece and one piece is about three inches. One piece is about two inches. They're both about a half inch. And and then the backside sailor hat, I've got a two and a half inch piece on the left, and I've got a two, about two and a quarter inch piece on the right, and I'm just using it to add a little interest, just adding those little pieces kind of like washi tape. And then I have three of those glitter uh, paper uh, shells that I'm going to hook into those pieces and then maybe hook one more piece up on the title, the Chase the Sunset title, and call it good. Add some journaling and I am really literally going to be done. I don't want to fuss. I don't want any muss. I want us to go out easy. We have some large Cricut elements on the other uh, pages. We have some layering. We have some tearing. We have a little ink blending. We've done a lot of different techniques in this uh, five layout series to create all 10 pages. And I think it's just feeling really great to end on an easy note and to get her done. <laughs> So I put my journaling on some journal sticker strips and I love doing this because I can write in paragraph form but I can snip those strips anywhere I want to and form any little section that I want to. So I'm going to go with shorter than longer than longest and then shorter again until all of my words are done and then I'd like to come back in with some of the same ink that I used on the stamp and thin cuts and just rub a few key words. I thought like sunrise, sunset, maybe um, rest, maybe grateful, a few key words and highlight a few key words with some ink. It's a cute little technique that's very inexpensive, quick and easy that sort of adds a little bit more jazz to your layout. I literally have nothing left in terms of gems or bling or anything like that. We've used it all up and it feels really, really good to have used almost all the pieces in in this kit, uh, this scrapbooking workshop kit, and to finish it up. And I'm so happy. I'm getting so happy to have this complete. I hope you're happy too. And if you've been following along and waiting, waiting, waiting patiently for the end of this series, I hope it is a happy day for you as well. Thank you so much for watching this series. Hit like, subscribe, the notifications bell. Shoot me a comment and let me know which of the layouts was your favorite or just let me know what you think about this super simple and easy layout. I love that we have all five layouts in the series done. Here they are again. Let's take a look at all of them and we'll take a final closer look to the chase the sunset summer layout that we completed this evening. There they are, all five, 10 pages of summer gnomes. And this gnome series completes four gnome series. Winter, spring, summer, and fall gnomes now are complete and can be laid to rest. And we've done them justice. We've given them a home. We've put them in our pages. And I think we've done right by our entire one year gnome series from close to my heart. Thank you so much for watching. Come back again for more paper crafting and card making and scrapbooking tips and tricks right here on Snips by Kelly. Bye-bye.